So far, in our look at the LaTeX Beamer package for creating presentations, we've looked at creating title pages, tables of contents, and using sectioning to create various divisions within the presentation, which is particularly useful for longer presentations. And we've also touched briefly on applying themes to a presentation. So we're going to start off with the presentation that we've been working on so far. So we've got our title up here with subtitle and author, particular theme we're looking at, which is Antibes for the time being, and then a couple of sections here for creating a table of contents, first of all at the start of each section and also at the start of each subsection. So the first frame in the presentation is the title frame, and then we go into our first section, which is the introduction. So what we've done here is we've got a slide called the Grammar of Graphics. So this slide has a small bit of information about where the grammar came from. So we've got two paragraphs here. Now each paragraph is separated by a space, and whenever there's a space in, in between um, blocks of text in latex, it assumes we want to start a new paragraph without us having to force um, a new paragraph to begin. So we've got some text here and then text here for the second paragraph. So what we've done is we've also put in various bits of highlighting to change the way the font looks. So first of all we've gone for some emphasis, so emphasizing the text grammar of graphics. Then later on in that paragraph we decided to change the word transfer from being in the default font color of black to blue. And then we've got a couple more bits of font formatting that will make things look slightly different to the standard font. So we've got the alert, which tends to highlight the text in red, but that may change depending on the particular color theme that you're using. And then we've also decided to put R, that, as that's the name of the statistics software package, as a capital letter, but also we're going to make it bold. So within this first frame, we've got various bits of highlighting. We've then got a second frame where we're again using some emphasis and boldface where we're just putting information about the book that Hadley Wickham has written, which allows beginners to get further into using the ggplot2 system. So in fact, we probably don't need a space there to be in line with the title. So if we do our usual uh, process of converting our tech file into a PDF document, so what we'll then do here is to take a look at what has been created. So I'll just resize this to cover the whole window. So we've got a title page, which is as we saw previously. So then we've got an outline slide. Then we follow on to a slide that started to talk about the grammar of graphics. Now the reason the outline slide was empty was because we'd only run LaTeX on one occasion. So here we'll see that the emphasis has produced italicized text. And then later on, the word transfer has been turned to blue. So if we just jump back to our document, we'll see that we had to put these curly brackets around the whole of that statement because the color blue turns everything after it to blue. But then those brackets indicate that the scope is only around that particular word. So the alert, as mentioned, turns those particular texts of so the name of Hadley Wickham to red, and then the letter R is now in boldface. So if we just jump onto the next slide, we'll see a similar amount of formatting that's taken place. So this is how we can set up a basic slide that has just got text on it, and some of the simple things we can do to highlight particular features of that slide, so particular words or series of words.